Hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Jessica Raceli. Nice to see your picture again. Eh? <laughs> okay, Wilfredo, Jessica Carolina. Okay, Jonathan. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Jessica Carolina. Hello, Mateo Moises. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new class. Okay. Now I have a message. Ada says, ah, buenas noches. No, Ada, buenas noches. No. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Yes, I know you're going to be listening, right? No problem. I understand. And let me see. Brenda is connecting. And we have a new student, Enrique Rosales. Welcome, Enrique. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Javier Gomez. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Welcome to the class, right? Nice to meet you. Me too. Me too. It's a pleasure. Okay. Now let's begin. Uh, let's start with the class of yesterday. I will share uh, the presentation, right? Okay, in a minute I will take uh I will take the attendance. But let's just start right now with this. Okay, okay, class. Yesterday we were talking about commands, imperative, right? Imperatives. What is an imperative? Okay. Uh Moises, can you read the 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 concept? Or the definition of a command, please. Read, please. Moises, do you, do you see the presentation? Okay. Yes, please, read the concept. Commands, what are commands? Commands, they are direct instructions or order to to do something, they have the same structure as imperative. Okay, commands is, uh, for example, if you're Moises, you're a manager, you're the boss, je je jefecito, right? You say, okay, please make this report, go there, complete that, call the client, etc., etc. Those are the commands, and they have the same structure. Okay, Enrique, no problem. Do it. No problem. Okay, good. Now, uh, and uh, sometimes we use the word please uh, to make the, the command, you know, more polite, más amable, but more, more polite. It's not the same to say, okay, place an order for more boxes. That to say, please. Place an order for more boxes, right? It's not the same to say, call the supervisor. That to say, call the supervisor, please. Ah, it's different, right? It's totally different, right? Uh, like we said, right? Así que no, right? With, with, with please. Even if your manager, your boss, you say, okay, jefecito, yes, in this moment, in this moment, please. Okay. And you do everything you need to do, right? Okay. And here we have some example, right? Affirmative. Look, notice that uh, when you, we use commands, we don't use uh, a subject. Uh, for, for example, I don't say, uh, Jessica Carolina, uh, go to the corner. Or, or Jessica Carolina goes to the corner, right? No, I don't say that. Or I don't say, for example, uh, Mateo doesn't go to the corner, for example, right? No, no, no. It is not. The subject is not here necessary, right? You only start, look, with the verb. Okay, observe, please. In this case, go. Go. Hola, profe. Hey, hello. Este, Carlos. Aún estoy en el trabajo. Pido permiso para estar okay. de oyente. 
Only listener. Okay, good. I will copy in this moment, Carlos. Mire que tuve un inconveniente. Acá Amen. estoy, mire, en medio de la selva. Ah, okay. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Be careful with the lions. Arr, with the lions over there, right, Carlos? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, de verdad, aquí estoy. No, trabajo, no, I, I believe you. No problem, Carlos. I believe okay. you. Okay. Gracias. Thank, thank you to report. Thank you to report. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, let me see. Anybody else? No, nobody, right? Only Ada. And, and only that, right? Okay, good. Let's continue. So go. Also, you can say, for example, here, no, notice, please. Open. Open, eat, turn. All of these are commands, are imperative, the same, right? Imperative, right? Okay. So it's not necessary, listen, to use the subject, right? In the in the negative sentences, we we use don't. Can you use doesn't? Doesn't doesn't go to the no. Mm -mm. No. Only don't. For everything. Remember here, no no subject, right? So you don't say it is singular, plural, chi, he, they. No, 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 no. It's not important. In this imperative or commands, right? It's not important, the subject. It's not necessary, right? So for that reason, all the time say, don't go. Please don't go. Please don't go. Babe, I love you so. Ah. Okay, good. That's it, right? Now, uh, listen, please, and repeat. Go to the corner. Open the window. Eat slowly. Hey, Wilfredo, hello, welcome. Nice. Uh, making exercise in, in the class. Nice. Excellent. I like it, Wilfredo. I like it. Good, good idea. Okay, good nice idea. to meet you. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay, continue, please. Everybody, repeat, repeat. I mean, some people did yum, 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 No, no, so eat slowly, please, right? Turn right. Look at this. Turn right. Repeat, please. Turn right. Turn left. Uh -huh. Turn right. Turn left. Turn right. Uh huh. You see. Okay. Good. Negative. Repeat, please. Repeat after me. Don't go to the corner. Go. Don't say go. No, it's not go. It's go. Don't go to the corner. Don't. Even don't say don't. Don't. No. 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 Don't. Don't go to the corner. Repeat, please. Don't turn left. Left. Don't walk too fast. Okay? Don't walk too fast. Do you remember Dedos in the movie uh, The Sims? No, The Simpsons, no. The, the, what is this family? The Simpsons, right? Okay, For, forget, forget. Okay, repeat, please. Don't turn on the TV. Don't turn on the TV. Okay, very good. Now, Delia, please, can you read the sentences affirmative, please? Mm -hmm. Read. Go to the corner, open the window, eat slowly, turn right. Okie dokie. Excelentoso, right? Uh, I, I knew, uh, today I learned a new word. And you have the privilege, <laughs> you have the privilege, to to know this word. I have also the word excelentoso, right? Excelentoso, right? And today I discover a new a new word for my students from seventh grade, the septimo grado, right? Seventh grade, they say, oh, it's asombrante. <laughs> asombrante. I was what? <laughs> what? Asombrante. I like it. <laughs> I incorporate to my language, right? So it's asombrante, Delia. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Okay, Wilfredo, please. Alcanza a ver, Wilfredo. Yes. Okay, yes. Good. 
So please read the, the negative. Read the negative, please. The negative. Mm -hmm. Don't go to the corner. Don't turn left. Don't walk too fast. Don't turn on the TV. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Wilfredo, say walk. 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 Uh -huh. In this case, the walk. L, the That's... L, Wilfredo, the L is mute right mute muda right walk yes. mm -hmm. like the like the walk. word uh -huh, correct also the word talk there are many don't words walk, talk. Uh -huh. walk fast. talk walk uh, talk fast good you don't say good i i good no <laughs> come on good no. and, too fast. and also could work you don't say cool, cool. I could go to the party. I could go. No, no, no. I could. So it's I go. Mm -hmm. walk, I go. walk, walk, good, and talk. could, right? Go. Also, go. attention, there is another word. You don't say salmon. No, 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 no. The correct word salmon. is salmon. 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 Salmon, salmon, yes, salmon, salmon. It's not salmon, it's salmon, salmon, salmon right? And salmon. the last word is, you don't say calm, calm, no, no, no. I heard today we have a, a little quake, right? Escuché por ahí que hubo un pequeño temblor ahora, no, you don't know. ¿Alguien no. sabe? No, no. No, okay, forget, olvidémonos tú. But when, when there is an earthquake, right? You yes, say, hey, Calm, calm, please, calm. Don't say calm, calm. No, no, calm. 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 Or, ima or imagine you are in the tagada, right? In the tagada. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you say, hey, H, hey, calm, please, calm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Delia, have you ever ride on the tagada? No, never. <laughs> I might... Never. Never. <laughs> no, and people go. Like, I heard sometimes that they say people go like basurita, right? <laughs> Inside the tagada. Okay, good class. Let's continue. Let's continue, right? I have another message here. Give me a second. Communication. Good. Good night. Good evening, Ingrid. Right? Ah, okay. Good, Ingrid. Dígame cuando ya esté lista nuevamente, Ingrid. Please. Tenemos otro oyente por ahí. Yes. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue, class. Right? And then we have an exercise here. How to use commands. Number one. Climb, order, take the to the. Take the order to the climb. Okie dokie. Very good. Number two, please. Volunteers, number two. Volunteers, number two. This is in disorder, so you have to... To unscramble. Uh, scramble is desordenado, right? Scramble. Scramble, look. Scramble. For example, how do you say huevo revuelto? Thank you, Moises. Okay, you, you number two, but give me a second. How do you say uh, huevo revuelto? Scramble eggs. Huevo revuelto, right? Scramble eggs. So what are you going to do? You're going to make in this, the opposite. Unscramble. Unscramble, huh? Unscramble. Unscramble is the opposite of scramble, right? You see? So, poner en orden. Ladies and gentlemen, Moisés. Sí, esta oración es polite. Ah, uh, yes, yes. No, no, wait. Aha, uh -huh, please, yes, you're right. It's polite. Yeah. Please send the report to the company. Please send, send the, the, the report. The report to the, to the company. To the company. Okie dokie. Uh, and Moises, can I say send the report to the company, please? please. Can Every you season. say that? Can you yes. say that? Yes, of course. Oh, <laughs> send the report. Yes. Please send the report to the company or send the report to the company. Please, right? Wilfredo, number three, please. Uh, don't, 
supervisor. Don't call the supervisor. Okie dokie. Very good. Teacher. Yes, Teacher, tell me. The second, the second sentence. Uh -huh. Yes. It's possibly send the report to the company, please. The please and, and the finish. No yes, correct. It's correct. Yes, okay. eso es lo que le estaba diciendo Moisés, right? That, okay. That you can say, send the report to the company, please, or please send the report to the company. No, it's not important. It was, the position is not important. Was, mm -hmm. But this with better is the sentences. It's uh, the beginning or the finish. Yes. Yes, no problem. It's okay. No, but no we, for you, which, which ah. is better? Uh, for me, well, it's the same, but I prefer to say please because you you say the the politeness, uh, muestra la, la amabilidad, right? At the beginning, okay. right? Inmediatamente, you say please. Okay. When, when, Wilfredo, uh, when you tell your employees, you say please. The mentally, the, the employee says, ah, que amable el jefe, right? So he says, please, please uh, go to the factory or please send the report or please, et cetera, et cetera. But, Wilfredo, I repeat, send the report to the company, please, is also correct, no problem. But I say okay. I prefer okay. the, the first one, the first. Mm -hmm. the first one. Okay. So Good. Thank, thank you. you very much. Number three, four, please. Number four. Volunteers, number four. Yo, teacher. Okay, no, 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 no Maria, say me, 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 me. Sí, me. Sí, me. <laughs> yeah, okay, good, Sorry. thank you. Just give me a second, please, give me a second. No, no, I mean, sí. uh, sometimes I know that it's common you say buenas noches, hola, like, but, but remember, uh -huh, in this case, you have to say good evening. Good evening is a hello, and good night is goodbye, right? Or you say, thank you, thank you, teacher, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Like, you know, uh, incorporate the expressions naturally, right? Naturally. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you, Maria. Now, what is, the, what, is, what is the center? Please come. Please don't go. Please. Okay, sorry. Please. <laughs> come. Don't. Come. Don't come. Don't come to the letter. Come. No, the, no, okay. Wait a minute. Aquí falta algo. Déjame ver. Please don't come to the. The veces se repite. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. I, I will correct. Give me a second. Ahorita la corrijo. Regálame un segundo. ¿Qué pasó aquí, amiguito? Sorry. Don't come. This is class. Class, right? Mm hmm. Okay, give me a second. Oopsie. To the class. Yes, oh, I see. Okay, please don't come. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Perdón, se me mueve. Va a disculpar. <laughs> Maria, okay, please don't come to the... Claire. To the class, right? Class. To the class. Claire. Uh -huh. Late. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Late. Please don't come to the class late. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And number five, please, volunteers, number five. Me, teacher. Thank you, Delia. Mm -hmm. He supervise employees. Please. No. Sorry. The, uh, ah, okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Supervise the employees. The employees, right? The employees. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Take the order to the client. Please send the report to the company. Don't call the supervisor. Ah, uh, sorry, there is a mistake. Aquí nos equivocamos con la número cuatro. Perdón. <laughs> Vamos a corregirla. Excuse me, excuse me. 
Vamos a corregirle aquí. Excuse me. Perdón, qué oso, qué oso. Please don't, don't come, don't come late to the class. Sería, yes, don't come late to the class. Yes, sorry. Yes, así sí, le dije. Ah, sorry, excuse me. <ríe> es que ya, ya le da. <ríe> excuse me. Y yo de necio. ¿va? Ok, ahora sí. Please don't, don't come late uh, to the class. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, good. Now repeat after me, please. Please don't come late to the class. Supervise the employees. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have uh, Jessica Araceli in the class. She's a new student. Ah, she's no, she's not new. She was in basic one, right, Jessica? Jessica Araceli was in, in basic one. So do me a favor, Jessica. Uh, can you read the sentences, please, for the class? Do you copy, Jessica Araceli? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro. Jessica, Jessica, ¿me copia? Mm, ok, creo que tendrá algún problema con el micrófono. Bueno, no problem. Ya vamos a ver si se conecta. Uh, Francisco, hello. Good evening, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Hey, do me a favor, Francisco. Can you read all the sentences, please? One to five, please. Listen to Francisco, class. Uh, one to five. No, no. Aha, uh -huh. yes, one to five. Yes, it's true. One to five. Okay. Uh, take the order to the client. Please send the report to the company. Don't call the supervisor. Please don't come late to the class. Supervise the employees. Okay, thank you. Supervise, right? Okay. Supervise the employees. Thank you, Francisco. Good, thank you. Okay, good. Now let's continue. More examples, please. More examples. Let's continue. Uh, um, what time is it? It's too late. I will take the attendance. But check it out this other sentence, right? In this case, the exercise is the sentences are in negative, right? So what you're going to do is to change, transform the negative into affirmative, right? Okay, let me see. But before to this, I will take the attendance. Give me a second. Okay, Ada... Eh, Carlos en Ingrid, ya les tomé la asistencia porque es maestra de oyente, right? Now, attention, please. Brenda Lee. Mis nieto Elías. No, ok. Brenda. Present. Ok, welcome, Brenda. Eh, Carlos Francisco. Francisco. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Delia. Present teacher. Elsa. Present teacher. Enrique. Present. Ok, welcome, Enrique, again. Ya vamos a, a darle la palabra a Enrique para que se presente, yes? Ok. Good. Eh, Erenia. Erenia. Okay. Evelyn. Mis fuentes parada. Hello, hello. Ok, Freddy. Present teacher. Ah, hello, Freddy. Se nos pierde, Freddy. Welcome. Welcome. Teacher, es que tenía un problema fuerte. Ah, entonces ok. No, no problem, Freddy. Uh, but sí. you're okay. Pero usted está bien. Sí, gracias a Dios. Ah, sí, okay, bien. good. Okay, Freddy. It's a pleasure because I, I like your participation because you like to participate a lot, Freddy. I know you are very dynamic. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, Jessica Araceli. Jessica, si no puede eh, conectar el micrófono, manda el mensaje. Ok, uh, yes, thank you, Jessica. 
Thank you very much. Let me see. Okay, good. And uh, Jessica Carolina. Jessica Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya. Present. Maria. Present teacher. Maria Rene. Present. Thank you. Uh, Mateo. Present. Moises. Present teacher. Alexi. Mr. Caballero Amaya. Hello, hello. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Welcome, Alexi. Wilfredo. Present teacher. William. Present. Wilmer. Mr. Mendoza Garcia. Dios cuatro, Dios cuatro. Mr. Mendoza Garcia. Are you there? Se lo solicita en cabina. Okay, good. That's it, right? Now, uh, again, voy a llamar a estos chicos porque tal vez no me contestaron. Brenda Lee. Erenia. Evelyn. Present. Okay. Present. Ah, hey, hello, Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay. Erenia. Erenia. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, eh, Brenda Lee and Evelyn. Nos hacen falta este día solamente. Okay. Good. And today we have a new student, right? We say, right? Eh, Enrique, ¿puede presentarse al grupo? Can you introduce to the class, Enrique? If it's possible, turn on your camera, Enrique. Sí, sure. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, wait, wait. Listen to Enrique. Vamos a escuchar primero a Enrique, luego vamos a las a los demás. Okay, Enrique, oh. welcome. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Where do you work, Enrique? I work in the Compañía General de Equipos. Ah, nice. So you're, you're an engineer? Yeah, no, no, oh. I am a, a auxiliar contable. Ah, nice. So you're good with numbers, Enrique. Good. And, um, and, and where do you live? Uh, I live in Cuscatancingo. Cuscatancingo, nice. I grew up there. Yo, yo crecí ahí, right? I, I grew up there in Cuscatancingo. Okay, it's calm, <laughs> it's calm, it's... Barra barrancoso, but nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Enrique. And, and, so, and, so, so. so, so, right? <laughs> and what what do you do in your free time? What are your your hobbies, Enrique? Uh, but uh, play basketball. Mm, okay. um, play soccer. Oh, basketball and soccer. Nice. Yeah. You're a sport man, right? Okay. And so, so. in, in no, El no Salvador, more. no, no much. But you like no it, right? Mm -hmm. In El Salvador, what is your favorite team? Aguila, Faz, Alianza? Uh, I, I don't favorite ah, teams. Ah, you don't have... Ah, okay. National leagues. <laughs> <laughs> Only in, in Spain? Uh, Madrid or Barça? Barça. Oh, okay. <laughs> extra bonus. Eh, perdonen, eh, tiene un punto extra aquí, Enrique. <laughs> okay. Very good, Enrique. Thank you and welcome to the class. Welcome to the class, right? Okay, now... Now let's continue with the class. Number one, please. It says don't walk. The, the, the affirmative is walk, right? Number two, volunteer, please. Raise your hands. Participation. Hello, hello. Participation. Raise your hey, hands. Teacher. Thank you, Delia. Go to the meeting. Go to the meeting, correct. Go to the meeting. Okay, go to the meeting. Thank you very much, Delia. Number three, number three. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Uh, Francisco, please. Write the email. Write the email. Correct, my goodness. Yes. Good. Repeat after me, please. Don't walk. Walk. Don't go to the meeting. Go to the meeting. Don't write the email. Write the email. Okay, listen. 
I feel like, like, like uh, in the movies, you, you have uh, one angel here, right? The angel and the demon here, right? Angel y demonio here, right? And they say, okay, do this, do this. <laughs> no, don't do that. Come on, no. <laughs> you know? It's, it's like in, in the movie, right? Here, for example, uh, is the opposite, right? Uh, affirmative. And then in the negative, right? I have... I have the selection here. Let me see. Por aquí estaba el... No, no, it's not this, right? Okay, wait a minute. Por aquí estaba el ángel. <laughs> ya lo perdí. Yes. Let me see. Este, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Este otro, no, right? Ah, este creo que es. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, por ahí andaba el ángel, ¿verdad? Ya, ya me perdió. Let me see. Este, no, este, no, tampoco. Bueno, ya lo vamos a encontrar por ahí, el ángel. No, tampoco. <risa> no, se me perdió, right? Se me perdió, pero era, era un ángel. Ah, ahí está, ok. Oh. Tarán. So, eh, you say, do this, do this, please. Haz el bien. <laughs> okay, and they say, no, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> the, the good and the bad, right? Okay, very good. Let's continue, let's continue. Now, uh, the next exercise, the next exercise is, uh, we are going to do the opposite, you know? The affirmative to negative. For example, write the memo to the boss. What is the opposite of write the memo to, to the boss? Don't write the memo to the boss, right? Good. Number two, supervise the new employees. What is the negative for this? Volunteer, please, volunteers. Uh, me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Kenya. Don't supervise the new employees. Don't supervise the new employees. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice. Don't supervise the new employees, right? Good. Next one. Repair the computer. Volunteers, repair the computer. Hi. Okay, please. I, don't repair the computer. Don't repair, repair the computer. Don't repair the computer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. Number four, please. Volunteers, number four. Teacher. Uh, yes, Moises. Yes. Don't send the order to the client, please. Don't send the folder. No, the orders, excuse the me. Order. <laughs> the, hoy, hoy me está fallando el oído. Sorry. Don't send the orders to the client. Please. Thank you. Uh, oh, excuse me, please. please. No, no, Moises is very polite. Yes. Okay, polite. Other word for polite, Moises is kind. 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 When you're kind, you you'll say hello, good morning, please. Can I help you? You know, kind. You're kind. Okay. Or okay. Uh, polite. 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 You're polite. Hey, excuse me, please. Thank you. Can I help you? Can I give you one hundred dollars? You're <laughs> polite, right? You're polite. Okie dokie. Now let's continue. Next exercise. Next exercise. Oh, this is uh, again. Este es un jueguito. Cuando les envíe el, el PowerPoint, eh, lo vamos a omitir por el tiempo, right? Porque esta es la clase de ayer. Uh, para Jessica Araceli y para Enrique, right? Esta presentación de, de ahorita es la clase de ayer. Estamos. Nos atrasamos un poquito, así que estamos dándole un repaso ahí. Ok, good. Now let's continue. Look, here's a conversation, right? Um, let me see. Uh, Elsa, look at the picture, Elsa. Where are the two women? They are in the park, in a house. Uh, they are in a cafeteria. Okay, probably they are in a cafeteria, right? In the second picture, uh, Maria, where are the two men? Oh, no, it's, it's two men. Yes, it's two men, right? Hello. 
uh -huh. hello in the second picture in the second picture maria where are the two men in the park in the house in the library in the supermarket in the restaurant probably in a restaurant right yeah because the, the menu look yes this is the waiter uh-huh yes probably good but look at the conversation look he says uh, in the first conversation what would you like for breakfast what would you like for breakfast? Mm, I can't decide. What do you recommend? Uh, I recommend or scramble eggs, right? With D, right? Scramble eggs. Everybody says they are out of this world, right? Out of this world is fuera de este mundo, right? Uh, like, for example, there is a... There is a Mexican informal restaurant uh, that is next to the Hospital Militar in San Salvador. The name is Taqueria El Marañón. I don't know if you know, right? No sé si alguno de ustedes conoce, but the gringas, the gringas is, is, is food, right? No, the gringas are out of this world, delicious. They're in Taqueria El Marañón, right? Delicious. Out of this world, fuera de este mundo, right? Or you can say, uh, they are delicious. Look, you can say, for example, um, they are very good. They are excellent. They are wonderful. They are fantastic. They are magnificent. Oh, excuse me, magnificent. And they are out of this world, right? Okay, these are examples how to, to describe food. Describe food. Not only food, you can describe movies, uh, <coughs> English class. <coughs> okay, good. Uh, you can describe uh, sports, people, etc. Et In this case, we are describing food. Scramble eggs, right? Los huevos revueltos están fuera de este mundo. The scramble eggs, they are out of this world, right? And then they say, the other person says, okay, okay. Please give me an order of scrambled eggs. Okay? Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What would you like for breakfast? I can decide. I can decide. What do you recommend? Come on, everybody, repeat. What do you recommend? I recommend our scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Our scrambled eggs. I recommend our scrambled eggs. Everybody says they're out of this world. Everybody says they're out of this world. Out of this world. Okay. Imperative, look, imperative or commands. Please, ah, uh, please, the favorite word for Moisés, right? <laughs> please give me an order of scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Commercial, 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 yes, commercial. Uh, how do you say huevos revueltos? Sunny eggs. Sunny eggs. Okay, el huevo como que es el sol, you know, sunny eggs. And how do you say huevo duros? <laughs> Boiled eggs. Boiled eggs, right? If you want to know. Boiled eggs, sunny eggs. Good. Now, sunny let me eggs see. Is estrellado. Estrellados, huh? Huevos oh, estrellados. Sunny eggs. Sunny eggs. Uh, okay. Wilfredo, porque el huevo se ve como que es el sol, ¿no? <laughs> sunny. That's yes. like sunny eggs. Sunny eggs. Uh -huh. And yes. er, Duro says boil, boil eggs. Mm. Okay, good class. Now, uh, 
I need two volunteers. Let me see. Um, uh, Brenda, please. And Francisco, right? Brenda, your letter A. And Francisco, your letter B. Conversation one. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, okay, wait a minute. One, two, three. Action. What would you like for breakfast? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend or screaming egg. Everybody says they're out of this world. Okay. Please give me an order of scrambled egg. Okay, thank you very much. Nice, nice. Okay, I see you have problems with the with the word scramble, right? But remember, there is not a, a, a scramble, no, it's scramble. Like you don't say a student, a school, no. Student, school, scramble. Okay, Brenda and Francisco, scrambled. Scramble. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, second conversation, please. Everybody, everybody. Ah, by the way, another commercial. Otro comercial, right? When you say everybody, everybody, you know, somebody, anyone, anybody, something, anything, right? These are called a uh, indefinite pronoun, right? Indefinite. Because we don't know, right? We say everybody, but no one sabe quién es everybody, right? But in this case, look, uh, we have everybody says it's not everybody say or everybody look or everybody go no you say everybody says everybody looks everybody goes so these words are considered third person singular estas palabras son consideradas tercera persona singular por lo que el verbo lleva una s okay okay good commercial right otro comercial now let's continue Conversation two. Listen, please. Listen. Pay attention. What would you like for dessert? I can decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. Mm. Everybody says it's delicious. Or you can say everybody says it's very good. It's fantastic. It's out of this world. Is magnificent. Okay. Okay. Please give me a dish of chocolate ice cream. Good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What would you like for dessert? Dessert. I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. Everybody says it's delicious. Everybody says it's very good. Everybody says it's excellent. Everybody says it's wonderful. Everybody says it's fantastic. Everybody says it's magnificent. Everybody says it's out of this world. Repeat, please. Okay, please give me a dish of chocolate ice cream. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, to practice this conversation, I have two excellent, two magnificent girls, two fantastic girls. <laughs> yes, 
Delia and Elsa. Okay, ready? Delia, your letter A. Elsa, your letter B. Are you ready, girls? Yes. One, two, three, action. What would you like to do for dessert? I can't decide. What did you do? What did you do recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. Everybody says it's delicious. Okay. Please give me a dish of chocolate chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, right? And this is what do you recommend? What do you recommend? Mm -hmm. And uh, not that you say, well, no problem, but I want to remark that this is dessert. Don't say dessert. Dessert is desierto, right? Dessert. ¿Qué quisiera comer al final de su comida? ¿Un desierto? Ah, no, no, come on, no, right? It's desert, postre, right? Desert. Desert, desert. Desert is desierto. Desert is postre. Desert, desert, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now, we are going to practice more conversation, right? But we are going to introduce more vocabulary. Look, for the breakfast. Uh, an order of, una orden de, right? Pancakes. Mm, for the breakfast, delicious, right? Uh, a bowl of, you know, un tazón, un plato, right? Of chicken soup. And a cup of, um, a cup of uh, hot chocolate, right? You can change, for example, an order of uh, French fries, an order de papita, right? An order of uh, baked potatoes, an order of uh, sticks, you know, palitroques, sticks. Okay, a bowl of cereal, a bowl of, uh, I don't know, fish soup, for example, fish soup, right? Or pata soup, <laughs> pata soup. Okay. And then uh, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a cup of uh, chocolate, yeah? So you can say that. But in this case, pancake, chicken soup, hot chocolate, right? Good. Now, uh, we are going to make a substitution, right? You are going to say, uh, I recommend or, or pancakes. Don't say scrambled egg. You say pancakes or chicken soup. Or hot chocolate, right? Everybody says, no says, no, it says they're uh, fantastic, they're excellent, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? Good. And then you say, okay, please give me, a, give me an order of pancakes. Substitution, understand? Okay, let me see. The victim, oh, no, the, no, the students are uh, Enrique. Vamos a la bienvenida, Enrique, okay. Enrique and Erenia. Enrique, your letter A, right? And Erenia, your letter B. Are you ready? Okay. Ready. One, two, three, action. What would you like for breakfast? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I I recommend our chicken soup. No, 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 no. Pancakes. Pancakes. Mm. Pancakes? Uh, yes. I recommend our pancakes. They are Every, everybody says they are out of out of this world. Irenia? Very good. Give me an order of pancakes. Very good. Congratulations, Enrique and Erenia. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Freddy, please. Freddy and Jessica. No, I don't know. Jessica no, no me dice si está lista. Creo que algo le está fallando en el internet. Bueno, vamos entonces con, con Jessica Carolina. Yes. Uh, Freddy, your letter A. Jessica Carolina, your letter B. Chicken soup. And remember, okay. you can say out of this world, or oh, delicious, very good, excellent, magnificent, etc., etc., right? Ready? One, two, three, action.
Freddy. Hello, Freddy. 10-4, Okay, Jessica, give me a second. Uh, maybe Jonathan can help me, right? Jonathan. ¿Me puede ayudar, Jonathan? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, good. Jonathan, you are letter uh, A. And Jessica Carolina, you're letter B, right? Ready? One, okay. two, three, action. What would you like for breakfast? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend or pio pio. Uh, chicken soup. Every every say everybody 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 say they're all of. No no. Is... They are delicious. They are very good. Look, aquí abajito están los adjetivos. Mire. Jonathan, oh, excellent. Okay. No, no. Cambiemos ahí, okay. Everybody says they're. Everybody say and they're very good. Uh -huh. Okay, it's fantastic. Please give me an order of chicken soup. No soap, no soap is soup, soup. Chicken soup. Uh huh. Yeah. Very good. Uh, soap is uh, jabón, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yes. Uh, jabón de pollo. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Chicken soup, right? Chicken soup. Soup. Mm. Chicken soup. Yes. O oh, maruchan soup, you know, pata soup. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jonathan and Jessica Carolina. Now we're going to go to Kenya, please. Kenya and Maria. Kenya, your letter A. Maria, your letter B. And hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. One, two, three, action. What will you like to drink? I can't decide what do you recommend. I recommend our hot chocolate. It's excellent. Okay, please guide uh, me an order of a scrum. No, no, order. no. A couple, a couple. A couple. Uh -huh. Una taza, de, right? A couple. A couple de of coffee. No, coffee no. Coffee no. Eh, hot chocolate, María. Es que María, María no quería chocolate, ella quería café, Kenia. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> ok, a copo, María. A, a copo, chocolate, 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 right? Chocolate. <laughs> okay, yes. ok, thank you very much. Aunque, aunque María dice, no, no quiero, pero está bien, pues ni modo. <laughs> ok, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with the next. Let's continue, class. Imperative, right? Estamos practicando imperatives. Second conversation. What would you like for dessert? Dessert. I can decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. I recommend our apple pie. I recommend our strawberries. I recommend our vanilla. Vanilla. Ice, ice baby to go. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla. No vanilla. No, it's vanilla ice cream, right? Like you say in English, tortilla. You said tortilla, tortilla, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody says it's delicious. Everybody says it's excellent. Everybody says it's fantastic, etc., etc. right? Now, for this conversation, for dessert, I will have um, Maria René, letter A, and Mateo, letter B, right? With apple pie. Remember, a piece of apple pie. A piece of apple pie, right? One, two, three, action. Maria René? What would you like for dessert? Dessert. Dessert, yes. I can decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. No, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, wait. Or apple pie. 
Sustitution. Sustitution. María ah, René. Ok. <coughs> I recommend our apple pie. Everybody says it's delicious. Uh, change is uh, excellent. It is wonderful. It is out of this world. It is magnificent. Huh? It... Everybody says very good. Uh -huh. Mateo. Okay, please give me an apple place. No, a piece of a piece a of a piece of apple place. A apple pie. Apple pie. Yeah, apple pie, yes. Good. Uh, I don't know how to say in Spanish, right? Pie de, we say in Spanish, right? Un pie de manzana, un pie de durazno, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, right? In El Salvador, right? For example, when you go to Pollo Camper, you say, tell me un pie, que es como un pastelito, no sé, yes, okay? Good. Thank you very much, uh, Mateo. Thank you, Maria René. Now, Moises, strawberries. Fresa, o sea, o sea, <ríe> al mar no le digo mar, le digo, o sea, no. Ok, Moisés en Alexi. Alexi, your letter B, eh, Moisés, your letter A. Ready? One, two, three, action. Uh, what would you like for dessert? I can't decide what do you recommend. I recommend our um a, a strawberry. Uh, everybody say it's um excellent. Okay, please give me uh it's... give me a stories and no a bowl of a, a bowl of a bowl of strawberries. Strawberries. No straw. Straw. Berries. Berries. Okay. Thank you very much, Moises and Alexi. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, Wilfredo, your letter A in vanilla ice cream. Uh, ice, ice, baby, to go, to go, right? Vanilla ice. And letter B, William, right? William Antonio. Hoy no le hemos dado participación, William. Hey, William. Para disculpar, yes. Okay, good. No problem. What would you like for dessert? Dessert. Dessert. No, dessert What no, would Wilfredo. What would you like for dessert? This, listen, Wilfredo. Dessert. Dessert. Okay, good. What would you like for dessert? Dessert. I can't say. What do you recommend? I recommend all the ideas of vanilla ice cream. Vanilla? Van, van, vanilla? Van, vanilla? Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Everybody say, say it's fantastic. Okay. Please give me a list of vanilla ice cream. Okie dokie. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Good participation. I like it. I like it, right? Vamos mejorando cada día, right? Ya cuando estamos en el básico, say, what would you like for dessert? I can decide, what would you recommend? Oh, it's delicious. Ah, come on, yes. In basic sick, you're going to speak like this, right? I hope that. Espero que así sea. Ahí me escriben cuando estén en el básico, say, teacher, ya hablo súper rápido. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. The next exercise is, aha, uh -huh, it's more complicated. Este sí está un poquito más complicado, but Pay attention. How to cook vegetable stew. Stew is estofado de vegetales, right? Stew. Vegetable stew, right? Number one, put a little butter. A little is for countable. A little, right? Un poquito. A little butter. A little water. A little oil. A little sugar, right? So to make, para hacer estofado vegetales, right? You have to put, put. Look, look at the picture. Poner, right? Put a little butter. Un poquito de, de mantequilla, right? De margarina, I don't know. No, no, mantequilla, right? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Into 
saucepan, saucepan, right? Saucepan es la eh, sería en español como la el, la cacerola para hacer la salsa, you know, saucepan. Ajá, uh -huh, okay. And eh, number two, chop up. Chop is chop up, right? Eh, cortar, you know, chop up. Eh, a few, a few, a few onions, a few tomatoes, a few eh, mangos, a few eh, apples, a few what? Eh, cincuyas. Cincuyas, right? Have you tried the cincuyas? ¿Alguien ha probado las cincuyas? Yes? Okay. Yes. Delicious, right? Okay. A few um, papayas. Yes? So, a little is for no countable. Sugar, oil, uh, coffee, uh, milk, etc., etc., right? A little, a little, sorry, I say a little. A little is for no countable. No conto, a little. And a few is for countable. Papayas, onions, um, uh, straw, uh, uh, what? carrots, um, tomatoes, potatoes, etc., etc., right? A little is for no countable. A few is for countable, right? Understand? Okay. Here we have the examples. Right? Step number one. Put a little butter into a saucepan, right? Chop up a few onions. Number three. Number three is for Wilmer. Are you there, Wilmer? Wilmer? Okay, so Ada, no sé si ya puede participar, Ada. Todavía está de oyente. Okay, so Brenda Lee. Okay, entonces regresamos con Brenda. Brenda, please help me. Help me, Brenda. Um, cut, up, cut up a little or a few potatoes? A few. A few, okay, give me a second. Solo déjeme contestar sí. aquí a Ada, okay. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, uh, a few. Yes, it's correct. Cut up a few. A few what? Potatoes. 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 Potato, right? Potatoes, right? Potatoes. Uh huh. Esto es por la regla de si la palabra termina en o. Es una regla, recuerden, de plurales. Si la palabra termina en O, le vamos a agregar ES. Si termina en CH, X, SH, S, como por ejemplo en el caso de vestidos, you know, dress. Ok, le vamos a agregar ES. Lo mismo sucede con potato. Como termina en O, agregamos ES. En lugar de decir potatos, <ríe> dice potatoes, right? A few potatoes. Ok, very good. Eh, I'm going to give you a homework. Le voy a dejar una tarea. Yes. For tomorrow. Me van a aprender cómo hacer estofado de vegetales. Aquí está la receta. Mañana me enseñan, por favor. <laughs> no, 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 it's not true, right? Good. So, cut up a few potatoes. Good. Next one, right? Pour. Verter. Pour. Pour in. Pour in. You know, pour in is verter. Eh... A little or a few? The question is for eh, Carlos. No sé si ya puede participar, Carlos. Ya llegó a casita. Ya salió del bosque. Carlos. Bueno, sigue trabajando ahí, Carlos. Continue, continue. Eh, now, Francisco, please. Can you help me, please? Pour in. A little or a few water, Francisco? Remember, a we're few. 
a few. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. I don't know, Rick. It looks fake. Water is countable or no countable, Francisco? Oh, oh, oh perdón. Excuse me, excuse me. No, no countable, right? No countable. So? A little. few. A little, correct. Pour in a little water. Okay, verter un poquito de agua, right? Yeah, pour, pour in a little water. Good. Eh, rebanar, slice. Slice, right? Rebanar, slice. Eh, this is for Delia. Come on, Delia. A little or a few? A few. Uh, a few. Ajá, uh -huh, me le soplaron. ¿Quién fue? <laughs> okay. sorry, sorry. No, no problem, <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> No hay problema. Yeah. Yo estoy molestando a él, no me preocupe. Slide. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Tell me. In the number four, in the number four, uh -huh. we can say uh, pour in a uh, pour in a uh -huh. bowl, pour in a um a soap a soap a bowl a a cup of water. Okay, wait, wait a minute. You say pour in a cup. A cup, uh -huh. a cup of water. Yes. Okay. Una copa de agua o un uh -huh. recipiente de agua. Yes. So yes, you can say that. But because we we're practicing little and few, so okay. Yeah, but of course, or you can say two ounces, dos onzas, right? Two ounces of water. You can say that, right? You can say uh, uh two tablespoons, dos cucharadas, right? Tablespoon. Uh, what else? Uh, There are many vocabulary, right? Hay mucho vocabulario, pero ahorita pues solo nos vamos a ir con few and little, right? Okay. You can use okay. it. No problem. No problem. Now, add. Uh, this is after Delia. We have Elsa, please. Add. Agregar, right? Add. A little or a few, Elsa. Miss Magaña Umaña, are you there? Copy, copy. 10-4, 10-4. Elsa. Okay, so Enrique, please help me. Add a little or a few, Enrique. Okay, so Erenia. Can you help me, Erenia? A little. A little. A little. Salt. Salt. Yes. Add a little potassium. Add a little salt. Sodium potassium, right? Potassium de sodio, right? Yes. Yes, Arenia. Cloruro de sodio. Ah, cloruro de sodio. Potasio de sodio. ¿Dónde me salió eso? El cloruro de sodio. No, para la química estamos mal. Ok, continue with English. Ok, cloruro de sodio. Add a little cloruro de sodio. Is in English, it's eh, sodium chloruro. Yes, sodium chloruro, right? Good. A little salt. In Spanish, salt. In Christian, salt, right? Now, next one. Mushrooms, mushroom, right? Eh, Evelyn, hello, Evelyn. Ya se incorporó a la clase, Evelyn. Yes, teacher. Ok. Eh, ya entendió lo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad, Evelyn? Ok. Chop up a little o a few mushrooms. Evelyn. Está fallando un poquito el micrófono, ¿verdad, Evelyn? Eh, creo que es... Pero no está lloviendo por ahí, Evelyn. No, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. ¿A little or a few, Evelyn? Eh, creo que es a few. A few. Yes, correct. Pero no sé qué es lo que está cortando. Son hongos. Hongos. Ah, uh, uh -huh. sí. Oh, mus uh, yes. A few mushrooms, right? Okay. Mushrooms. Uh-huh. Chop up a few mushrooms. Good. 
Let's continue, right? Vamos a acelerar ahorita un poquito. Eh, ok. Eh, Freddy. Teacher. Jessica Carolina. Uh -huh, yes. I'm sorry, yes. but ah, yes. which Continue. different is chop up and good up? Okay. Uh, what I understand that chop up is a little. A little, right? Oh. Uh, Ajá, uh -huh. eh, cut, cut up, cortar es como eh, cortar en pedazos, ya no, like, re... como nosotros decimos en español, picadito, digamos. No, chop up es ah, como picar, chop up. Ok. O sea, cortar, pero, pero oh. más chiquito, you know. Ok. Like the onion, la cebolla, yes. cuando te hace carnita asada y hace, eh, ¿cómo is se llama? Oh. In Spanish is eh, tomatito y cebolla. Chimol. Chimol. Chimol, yes. Chimol yes. y chop, chop up. Chop, chop up. up. And, and when you eat mango, for example, mango, yes. eh, potato, you, you cut, you cut up, right? Solo yes. Corta, solo corta, you know? But okay. the, the, the other one is chop up. It's más, más finito, you know, chop up is más finito, okay. Good, thank you. Now, eh, let's continue. Um, Jessica Carolina, please, number, number eight. A few or a little? Um, a few, um, right? A uh, few. A few. Pepper. No, 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 no. Number eight, right? No. <laughs> Number eight. Ah, hey. Perdón. <laughs> Tomatos. Tomatos. Tom tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Number nine. Thank you very much. Uh, Jonathan, please. A few or a little? A little. A little, very good. A little? Peppers. Pepper. Uh, pimienta, Peppers. right? Pepper, a little oh. pepper. Yes. And finally, cook for three hours. Yes. So it, why is the name vegetable stew? It's because a lot of vegetables, onions, potatoes, mushroom, carrots, etc., uh, etc., et right? Yes? Any question, class? Notice that we are using imperative. You don't say uh, Jessica, Jessica Carolina puts a little butter into a saucepan. No, you don't say that. It's only put, chop up, add, cook, etc. So this is imperative, right? Do you like it? ¿Le gusta la práctica? Yes. Aprendemos a cocinar, usar gramática. <laughs> Y a la yes. vez, nombres contables y no contables. Okay, let's continue. Ahora vamos a preparar otra cosa. Yes? Do you like to cook more? Okay, let's continue. The last exercise. Pero ayúdenme con cuando llame a, a, los, a los participantes. Ahí está listo. Okay? Now, let's continue. Now, the, the, this is a re recipe, you know, receta eh, to fruit cake. Vamos a preparar un Pastel de frutas. Mm, delicious, right? Good. Number one. Put a few cups of flour. You know, flour is uh, um, harina, right? Harina. Put a, a, a few cups of flour into a mixing bowl. Mixing bowl, right? Okay, es un razón para mezclar, right? Good. So a few cups. Huh? Countable. Countable, right? El, aquí quiero uh, notarle que floor es no contable, right? Floor. Pero si le decimos taza de, uh -huh, ahí sí ya se come. Like water, for example, we say water is no contable, but a cup of water, yes. Two cups of water, like you say, three cups of coffee, se convierten en contable, porque estamos contando las tazas, las botellas, las cajas, etcétera, etcétera. So, okay. So in this case, it's a few cups of flour. Number two, add a little sugar. Sugar, oh honey, honey. Sugar, right? So sugar is no contable. So a little. Good. Let's begin. Let's begin. Nos quedamos con Jonathan, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. Now, Kenya, please. Kenya, number three. Help me, please. Slice, rebanar. Kenya. 
Lo siento. Eh, me está fallando el inter. Oh, sorry. Ok, a little, okay. number three. Kenia, number three. A little or a few? A few apples. A slide, a few apples. Say apples. 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 Y así es como una A, E, combinada. A, 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 apples, apples. A few apples, right? Thank you very much. Kenya, number number four, please. Uh, Maria? Cut up. A few. A few. Mm -hmm. Orange. Oranges. 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 A few oranges. Very good. No, 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 quedó bien. Sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Cut up a few oranges, right? A few oranges. Good. Number five, please. Uh, Maria Rene. Pour in, right? Pour in. Verter. Pour in. Pour in a few honey. Mm, honey. Honey is countable or not countable? In no general, contable. no conto, right? So is a little or a, a few? Little honey. A little, excellent. <laughs> Excelentoso. A little? Honey. Uh, honey, right? The new word, estrenemos la nueva palabra, es asombrante. <laughs> a little honey, right? Thank you, Maria René. Now, uh, Mateo, please, number six. Add a little baking soda. A little baking soda, right? Uh, uh, baking soda is like uh, in Spanish. What is baking soda? Eh, no será el polvo para hornear. Eh, sorry? El polvo para hornear, por lo polvo que se para la... Yes, baking soda, right? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm not a chef. I'm not a chef, but yes. Polvo es, para hornear. Es bicarbonato. Bicarbonato, de eso. De... Ah, ok. No, I didn't know. Yo no sabía que se le agregaba. <laughs> ok, number seven. Chop up what? Um... We say Mateo, now Moises, please. Moises? Chop up a few nuts. nuts. A few nuts, right? Nuts. Yeah. Very good. By the way, a commercial. Tengo otro comercial. Para decir que alguien está loco, dice, you're nuts. No sé por qué se dice así, pero you're nuts. You're nuts. You're crazy. Estás loco. You're nuts. <laughs> okay, good. Now, number eight. Thank you, Moises. Uh, we'll, uh, Alexi, Alexi, please, number eight. A little or a few, Alexi? A uh, little. A little? A little, right? A little? Sorry. Salt, a little salt. Salt, salt. Cloruro de sodio, me dijeron por ahí. <laughs> Good. Mixing. Raisins. Uh, raisin is in Spanish pasas. Yes. Pasa, uh, pasa, raisin. Uh, uh, ok. Que son las uvas. Eh, son uvas. Las pasas son uvas. Pero Mucho son eh, des eh, deshidratadas. No, deshidratadas. <laughs> No, Wilfredo dice acá. <laughs> like this, right? Like a cat. Animal. ¿no? An animal. <laughs> like this. Right? No, des deshidratado, deshidratado, digamos. Okay. Yes. Es decir, todo, se le saca todo el líquido y ahí quedan las. Por eso es que son caras. Okay. En el super usted va y una cajita le cuesta como cuatro dólares. <laughs> ok. So, raisins. In, in, in English, raisin. Mixing. Okay, okay. Uh, Wilfredo, please. Mix in. Mix is in a few uh -huh. raisins. A few raisins. Raisins. Yeah. A few raisins. Okay, thank you very much. Now, finally, bake for 45 minutes. 
And then you're going to have a delicious, a delicious cake, right? Fruit cake. Good class. Any question about vocabulary, imperatives? Remember, we were we are practicing imperatives. Yes? No subject, only the verb. Solo usamos el verbo, right? And when it's negative, instead of say put a few cups of flour, you say don't put a few cups of flour, right? In negative. Affirmative put, negative don't put, right? Good. Questions, questions? Remember, I like questions. Me fascina que me hagan preguntas. So please, ask me. Evelyn? Ajá, uh -huh, yes. Me gustaría que consolidáramos el cómo se expresan los plurales de los cortables. Por ejemplo, ah. o porque ah. lamentablemente me conecté tarde y creo que me quedó un, un Una vacío. Duda es. Ah, ok, good, good. No problem, right? Eh, Evelyn, cuando yo digo commercial, right? Comercial, eh, agrego un punto que no tiene que ver con el tema, pero que nos sirve a todos, ¿verdad? Eh, en este caso se llama los plurals. Esto sería, ¿verdad, Evelyn? The plurals. Ok, number one. Vamos a poner la regla. Entonces. Number one, add S, right? Eh, a la mayoría, el 95%, 96%, solo le vamos a agregar la S. Mire, Evelyn, add S. Por ejemplo, eh, Sin, sin la flequita, solamente la S. No, only the S, yes. Por ejemplo, eh, and what? Papaya, papaya, papayas. Eh, what else? Mm, what else? Eh, ah, dog, y naranjas. Dog, dog. Eh. Mm -hmm. pero, pero naranjas. Orange. Ajá. Orange. Oranges, yes. It's okay, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Only at the S. 95%, digamos el 95%. Good. Okay. Number two, number two. Eh, when the when the the noun ends in s z s h c h x or o you are going to add e s right cuando los nombres terminen con cualquiera de esas letras Evelyn le vamos a, en lugar de agregarle s le vamos a agregar e s right se parece mucho a la regla de los, los verbos are exactly the same Evelyn, me fascina me fascina que conectemos todo al... yes. son las reglas de, la, de los verbos en tercera persona it's true, son las mismas reglas las mismas reglas, yes exactly the same, exactamente las mismas reglas por ejemplo eh, eh, watch, reloj right, watch ¿se dice? watch, right eh. Uh -huh. eh, dress, vestido dresses yes. lo que estamos viendo, ¿va? tomato tomatoes mango mangoes ok, okay. potato, potato, etcétera, etcétera hay que continuar, right? thank you teacher no, ok, wait, todavía falta un poquito a ver, todavía falta un poquito <laughs> sorry ok, number three eh, change the Y the Y to I vamos a cambiar la Y por la Y latina and and add ES, right? ES, for example secretary give me a second si pueden hacerle captura de pantalla a esta regla, pues sería magnífico o si no, ahí va a quedar la, la presentación, ¿verdad? En grabada. No se preocupen, pero los que quieran ahí. Ok. Por ejemplo, secretary. Secretary, right? What do you do? You change the Y to I. And then you add ES. Secretary. Secretary. Ok. Other example is strawberry. Strawberry. Berry, you know, vaya, vaya es berry, las vallas, las, las que se encuentran en los arbustos, you know, por eso se llaman vallas, berry. 
están las eh, blackberry, las strawberry, las, bueno, todas las berries, strawberry. What do you do? La fresa, o sea, o sea, no. Okay, you change the white to I, and then you add ES, strawberries. Strawberries singular, strawberries in plural, right? Good. And the last one, uh, number four, irregular. Irregular, right? For example, eh, ratones, mice. Niños, children. Right? Eh, we have a lot. For example, eh, cheap, ovejas, right? Eh, the same, cheap, cheap, the same. One cheap, two chips. Also fish, right? Fish, singular, fish, plural. Etc. Aquí hay un montón. Eh, other one is, eh, for example, man, men, right? Woman, women. Eh, diente, dientes, teeth. Pie, you know, foot, foot. feet, feet. Mm -hmm. etc. Feet. Hay un montón ahí. Tenemos un ejemplo, un montón de ejemplos. Okay, good. So Esta these... es memorizar la verdad. Ah, uh -huh, yes. <laughs> memorize, only memorize. So, rule number one, add S. Simple, es la más fácil. El 95% de los nombres y de los verbos en tercera persona, <laughs> solo le agregamos la S, right? Number two, if they end, if the noun ends in this letter, right? Si el, los nombres terminan en estas letras, solo le agregamos S, right? Luego que estos son bien poquitos, change the Y to I and add ES. And then the irregular that you have to memorize. So you can make the, the screenshot if you want. Pueden hacerle captura de pantalla si quieren. Si no, ahí va a estar el video en la plataforma, right? Ready? Okay. Evelyn, I don't know if, you, if I answer your question. No sé si con eso respondo su pregunta, Evelyn. Totalmente. Muchas okay, gracias. Good. No, no, no. Say, no, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank. Very good. Thank you, you, for your question. I like the question. I love the question because I like to explain. I enjoy my 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 career. Right. Me, me fascina ser pro profesor porque cada vez que me preguntan, eh, como que me me pican ahí, verdad, para <laughs> para explicar. <laughs> so thank you for your questions. No more questions. Class? Teacher. Yes, tell me, Kenya. Eh, ahí usted había escrito que ratón escribió que era mice. Mice. Pero no, no, no es mouse, mouse. No, no, yes, but. Uh, plural, okay. plural. The plural, ah. Uh, okay, the, I will copy the singular and the plural. Look, mouse uh -huh. is singular and mice is plural. Ah. So you say a mouse, two mice. Ah. Ahora three sí, mice. Three mice. Ajá, es que solo les puse los plurales. No le, por, por ejemplo, eh, child, niño, right? Plural, children. ¿Understand? Singular en plural. Yo solo les puse los plurales. <ríe> Sorry. Sí. Yes, ok. ¿Le gustan, ¿Le gustan los niños, Kenia? Yes. Yes, son con tomate y limón. Son... <ríe> no, I'm kidding, perdón, estoy por Ok. Ok. Any other question? Questions? I have a message here. Ah, good. Aquí ya nos mandaron la captura. Miren, Moisés. Thank you, Moisés. Thank you very much. Ahí está en el chat. Los que quieran copiarlo ahí del chat, bajarlo. Yes. Thank you, Moisés. Thank you very much. Good. Let's continue. <clears throat> Let's continue, right? Oh, we finish. Finish the imperative, right? Ok, class, I take the attendance. Voy a tomar una sola asistencia y luego nos quedamos con la presentación de este día. Y um, este día vamos a trabajar con, let me see, el, eh, le tocaría a Erenia. Erenia, que you, puede quedarse 10 minutos extra, Erenia. Yo me quedé ayer. Ah, oh, it, yes, right, excuse me, sorry, my memory, entonces sería Evelyn, 
Evelyn puede quedarse esta noche. Evelyn. Yes, yes, okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay? Now let's continue with the presentation of today. The new topic is What is the new topic? Let me see how to use imperatives. Sorry, ya la perdimos. How to use... Ah, okay, this is the presentation. Okay. Good. Let's start, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new class. Today is August 30th. Uh, this is class number eight. And the topic is how to use have to and need to. Tengo que, necesito. Right? Necesito hacer esto, necesito lo. Okay, have to, need to. Uh, in support, English Corporativo, and the teachers, Javier Gomez, say welcome to this class, right? Now, the objective for tonight. Kenya, can you read the objective for tonight, please? Unit two, ongoing activities of the workplace. I will be able to state the frequency of activities I do in my work and use expression to state urgency or command. Good. To state urgency, right? Like this, right? I need, I need, I have to. Huh? I have to go. I have to, to complete the report. I need to, etc., etc. Urgency, right? Or commands, commands. Good. Thank you very much. Now, I have these two questions. Let me see. What are three things you do every day in your workplace, right? Three things you do in your workplace. Enrique, please, can you tell me three activities that you do in your work every day? I, for example, I send emails, I call clients, I make reports, I have meetings, I repair computers. In the case of Enrique, maybe it could be... <laughs> Compañía de equipo, eh, let's say, I repair machinery, reparo maquinaria. Ah, no, no, mm, auxiliar contable. No, no, I, I'm an assistant accounting. Ah, so you, you uh, make numbers, you make reports. You uh, check the payrolls. Payrolls son planillas, so pago de planilla, right? Payrolls. Payrolls. Hago cortes de caja, ¿cómo sería? Ah, oops, ahí se me, se me metió gol. Eh, corte de caja. Ah, como un arquero de caja. Ajá, is like. No, no, no. Se lo voy a investigar. Ya, ya busco en San Google. Ok, no. other activity, other activity, please. Um, Make a report. Uh, Make reports. Uh, a report. Uh, 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 I uh, send to nota de abono. Uy, otro, otro gol. <laughs> nota de abono. Right? <laughs> okay, let me, let me copy, right? Vamos a copiarlo y ya se lo investigo. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Give me a second. Nota de abono y corte de caja. <laughs> Ajá. Nota de abono. Eh, corte de caja, right? But we're going to say in this moment in Spanish, for the moment, right? Corte de caja. You make corte de caja and you make... Cash register. Cash register. Okay, thank you. Cash make register. Reports, okay, thank you. Make cash register. Cash register. Okay. Corte de caja. Uh, cash register. Good. And eh, nota de abono. Please. Credit note. Credit note. My goodness. Credit note. Eh, yo pensé well, que du Dudley y Dino eran mis auxiliares, pero aquí tengo gran apoyo, ¿verdad? <laughs> Credit note. No, for me, it's, it's my job. Oh, ah, yes. Eh, Wilfredo is, is a company. In finance. You work yes. with finance, yes. Credit note. In this cash register. So, Enrique, you have a colleague right here with Wilfredo. Oh, thank you. He's an expert, right? He's an expert. He's a uh, bookkeeper or accountant, right? Yes? Account, uh -huh. yeah. Accountant, yeah. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. 
Kenya, please, can you help me, Kenya? What are three things you do in your job, Kenya? Check the emails. Uh huh. Ay, ¿cómo era esto? <laughs> Se la fue en inglés, ¿cómo era? Eh, send Ay. email, make reports. No. Eh, dar órdenes de compra. To digit, digit eh, purchase orders. Digit purchase orders. Uh, purchase. Purchase order, right? Order de compra, right? To uh -huh. okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Wilfredo, what is something you never do in your workplace? For example, in my workplace, Wilfredo, I never repair cars. I never fix cars. Me, the teacher, I never repair cars. And you, Wilfredo? What is something you never do in your workplace? I, I, I never just, uh, uh, the... drink coffee. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I it never... usually, it's always. <laughs> For example, do you call no, clients? But... Uh, Wilfredo, do you call? Yes. Yes, uh, well, do you... I never call the cell, the cell phone. Uh, you never use the cell phone? Cell phone, the office. Okay. No, but only for the, my office. Ah, okay, good. When the, the the other office is no. No, no. Or maybe, do you make no. purchase orders, Wilfredo? As a order de compra? Do you, you make purchase orders? No, but... No, no. It's okay, other, so other, I never other say... Break. I never I never do, say order. I never to do say about order. Purchase order. Okay. I good. never do purchase orders. Purchase, purchase order. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank purchase you very much. Purchase order. Yes, you never do that, right? Thank you very much. Sorry, I have another message. Estaré de oyente, María. Okay, good. Ah, dijimos que vamos a tomar la asistencia, right? Excuse me. Good. Eh, Ada, el mensaje de asistencia. Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee, no. Ok. Eh, Brenda. Present. Thank you very much. Carlos Armando. Sigue en el bosque, Carlos, right? De oyente. Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Delia. Present teacher. Elsa. Present teacher. Enrique. Present. Erenia. Present. Evelyn. Present teacher. Freddy. Ingrid. Present teacher. Ya puede participar, Ingrid. Sí, teacher. Yes, yes, okay, good. Jessica Araceli. Uh, sorry, sorry. Ingrid. Ahí te puse un mensaje, teacher. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I know. It's, ahorita lo estamos leyendo. Dice, solo me hace preguntas a mí, dice. A nadie más, solo a mí. Oh, excelente. <laughs> no, no mentiras. Ok. Eh, Jessica Araceli. Jessica Carolina. Present, teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Kenya. Present. María, está de oyente, por cierto. Ok, María René. Present. Thank you. Mateo. Present. Moisés. Present teacher. Alexi. Present teacher. Wilfredo. Present teacher. William. Mr. Vasquez Amaya. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Now, Wilmer. Wilmer. Okay. Good. Let's continue, right? Let's continue. Remember, this is the new topic. Have to, need to, right? Now, uh, we're going to make an exercise. This is a letter from uh, Mr. Wilson. And there are some mistakes, right? I will read, pay attention. Hello, my name is John Wilson. 
I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often, no tan frecuentemente, right? Not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend, assistir, right? Attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Good. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning. and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. I am always busy. Busy. Okay, good. Ingrid, can you read the full reading, please, for the class? Hello. My name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resource manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, generally I attend ge generally. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Busy, busy. Yes. B busy, busy. Busy. Ok, good. Thank you, Ingrid. Good reading. Estamos mejorando. Excelentoso. What is the other word? Delia, help me, please. ¿Cuál es la otra palabra que descubrimos? Delia. Sources manager. No, no. Asombrante. Asombrante. 
Yes, Ingrid, your reading, su lectura, right? Your reading is asombrante. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you very much. Good, uh, class, do you have any question about vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand in this reading? Only busy. Sorry, repeat. The word busy. Busy, ocupado, busy. Okay. Uh, I'm, I am always busy, siempre estoy ocupado, right? I am always busy, yes. Yeah, I imagine Delia is always busy, right? Ingrid, Wilfredo, all the time working, right? You know? I imagine. That's why I say congratulations. Yo sé que todos ustedes pasan muy ocupaditos en su trabajo, pero estar en esta, a esta hora, pues, es un sacrificio que vale la pena, créanme. Les va a servir muchísimo. Okay, now, let's continue, right? Uh, here we have six sentences, right, that are... Uh, I say incorrect. They are incorrect, right? All the sentences, all the sentences are eh, incorrect. But what are we going to do? We are going to make the correction, right? According to the reading. Uh, we are going to start with, uh, ¿con quién nos quedamos? Con Kenia, ¿verdad? Okay, uh, no, con María René. So, Mateo, please, help me, Mateo. Uh, his name is John Wilkins, and incorrect, right? What is the correct information, Mateo? Perdón. Okay. Repeat, please. According to the reading, Mateo, the six sentences ah, are yeah. incorrect, and they are incorrect. So, you yeah. are going to make corrections. To the sentence, right? His so, name is Mr. Wilson, John Wilson. His name is uh, Mr. John Gomez, you say, right? Gomez? No. Wilson. Ah, Wilson. <laughs> okay. Okay. John Wilson. Ah, yes, I remember the movie. John Wilson, right? Naufra, right? Right? Remember the movie with, with Tom Hanks? Que se hace amigo de una pelota de voleibol, right? Wilson. <laughs> okay. His name is Mr. John Wilson. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Mateo. Now, uh, Alexi? No, no, Moises. Moises, please. He writes reports every day. Mm -hmm. He, he checks emails every day. He checks emails every day. Every day. Uh huh. Very good. Now, next one, please. He never answered. Now, uh, Alexi. He never answered the phone and talked to customers. Mm. He never. Um, he never is true. No, it's not true. It's false. <laughs> and so, Alexi. Hello, teacher. He, he never. What is the correct sentence? He never. Um, I'll, I'll watch. Aha, uh -huh, very good. He always. He always. Um, he always answers. Answer. The phone. The phone. And told to, cons to customers. To customers. And talk to customers, right? Good, thank you. Asombrante, Alexi. <laughs> okay. Number four. 
William. Number four, William. Ah, no, Wilfredo, right? Excuse me. Yes, Wilfredo, in the order. Uh -huh, Wilfredo. Ha, he often attends meetings in the morning. It's correct. It's correct? No. Yes. I attend meetings in the morning. Mm -hmm. yes. It's correct. Look at the look at the information. It says, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Right? Not so often in the afternoon. He attends. He attends, he attends meetings in the morning. Correct, right? Yes. No, he no. attends. He attends meetings in the morning. Uh -huh. In the morning. Uh, Ah, no, 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 sorry. He never attends meaning this. He often attends meaning. So only he attends, right? Solamente attends. Yes. Just give me a second. Permita un segundito. He attends meetings. Mm -hmm. He attends. No, but listen, there, there is a mistake here, right? Hay un errorcito aquí. Ok, let, let, me, let me explain this. Vamos a explicarlo bien para no dejarlos confundidos. Ok, normally, eh, the frequency adverse always, eh, sometimes, eh, never, often, eh, rarely. Ok. Eh, van entre el verbo y el sujeto. For example, I say, I always have meetings. For example, right? I always have meetings. Uh -huh. eh, siempre tengo reuniones, right? Eh, I never send emails. Nunca mando emails, right? Okay. Good. But I say that the word sometimes, remember? Dijimos que el sometimes se sale del guacal. So you can say, sometimes I send emails. Y también puedo decir, I sometimes send email, right? Both are correct. Ambas oraciones son correctas, eh, Wilfredo. En another example, otro ejemplo de, de un adverbio que se nos sale del guacal es generally. Generally. Okay? So I can say, generally, I attend meetings. O puedo decir, I attend generally meetings, right? Ambas son correctas, okay? But it's more common the first, pero la primera es más común, you know? Generally. I attend meetings. Like here in the example, right? So, the correct sentence in this case, right? It would be number four. Instead of say, he, he often attends meetings, we're going to say, Wilfredo, he generally... He generally attends meetings in the morning, right? Eh, Wilfredo, no sé si lo confundí. No, no, it's correct. This is correct, right? Yes. Sí, entonces, la oración estaba incorrecta. Solo en lugar de ponerle often, le vamos a poner generally solamente. Yes. yes. Understand? Yes. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Wilfredo. Uh, everybody understands? Todos entendieron este movimiento porque está algo raro. <laughs> the, the idea is to correct. Now, uh, number five, please. Uh, William, please. William Antonio. He. Uh -huh. Often. He often, correct. Okay. But, but, okay. Wait, wait. Give me a second, William. 
Y aquí está otra dificultad más que no la habíamos explicado en clase, right? Eh, in this case, is not so often, right? Not so often. Look at this expression. No. Not so often. Quiere decir no frecuentemente. Uh -huh. Quiere decir uh, que tiene reuniones en la tarde, pero pocas veces. William, ¿sí me entiende? Sí, Cuando sí, digo sí. no so often, quiere decir que sí tiene reuniones, pero poquitas reuniones. Pero aquí estoy diciendo que nunca tengo reuniones en la tarde. Es mentira, es no true, right? Es como decir que el que el Madrid es mejor que el Barça, no es mentira, el mejor es el Barça, yes. <risa> okay. So, so, sería entonces he doesn't he doesn't so often. Okay? William, yes. ¿sí me entiende? Yes. Well, well let, let's do it. Vamos a hacerlo juntos. Yes. He como es tercera he, persona vamos a decir doesn't, right? He doesn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. No so no, often, ¿no? No so often. He doesn't so often. Como ya tenemos el not aquí en el doesn't, ¿verdad? Ahí está el not. Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. So often. Attends. Attends. Ajá. In the afternoon. Attend. Como ya, ya usamos el doesn't, ya no le ponemos ese al verbo. So we say, he doesn't often yes. attend meetings. In the afternoon, right? Ya, lo voy a dejar así porque ya no nos cabe, ya no tenemos espacio. Ok, good. Thank you, William. And finally, Wilmer, please. He usually has events in his companies. He usually has events. Wilmer? Mr. Mendoza. Okay, to finish, please, volunteers. Who wants to help me in the last one, please? He always has he, events. He always. It's not he usually. He always. He always. He always has. No how. Has. El que usemos un adverbio de frecuencia no indica que vamos a, a romper la regla de ponerle una S. O de poner, de si have, right? Events in his company. Okay. This exercise was a little, a little difficult, right? But we did it. We did it. Nice. Any question, class? Any question? Difficult or easy? Delia, what do you think? Difficult or easy? Difficult. Oh, okay, yes, it's difficult, right? Sí, es que había unas reglas que no se salen del guacal, ¿no? Entonces ahorita las explicamos, yes. Como la de generally o la de not so often, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, class. Now let's continue. Let's continue, right? Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me, I... Kenny. En la número tres, que no tenía que terminar la oración en... To potential employees. Uh, yes, yes, it's true. But uh -huh. but because the sentence says customers, uh, potential employees are the same, right? Es lo mismo. Es lo... Uh -huh. Ah, no, 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 sorry. Sí, tiene razón, permita. Ya le entendí el punto, sí. And talk to potential Yes, sí, tiene razón. Uh -huh. Pero el libro así lo explica, pero... Sí, nosotros lo vamos a corregir, tiene razón. Entonces, no es que va, no esté hablando con clientes, ¿sí? No está hablando con emple, eh, posibles Empleo. empleados, ¿ah? ¿eh? Uh -huh. Posibles empleados sería, ¿verdad, eh, Kenia? Potential sí, no. employees. Ajá, no me había fijado, tiene toda la razón, yes. I like it. Eh, Kenia, la vamos a contratar de asistente, oiga. Yes. <risa> ok. So, in this case is Talk to uh, potential employees. Yes. Ahí corregimos. Pero ya, ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Que ahí nos... El libro, el libro se ha equivocado. Esta vez no al teacher. <laughs> Yo no me di cuenta del error. Yes. Pero ahí tenemos ayudantes que no están 
auxiliando. Ok, good. Now, uh, Mr. John Wilson, look. In English, we use titles. Like in Spanish, we say Don, Doña, right? La Niña Delia. <laughs> La Niña Delia. La Niña Kenia, <laughs> right? No, right? In, in Spanish, but in English, we use titles like Mr., Miss, Mrs., and Miss, right? For example, in November, we are going to ce celebrate Miss, Miss Universe, right? Miss Universe. Yes? In yes. El Salvador, right? The celebration. So, Miss. Miss, in this case, is for, for woman. Is for a woman that is not married. Not married. Dan, dan, da, dan, dan, dan. No. For a woman that is married and for a woman that is not married, we say Miss. Miss, right? Here. Para una mujer que está casada y no está casada, right? Las que están casadas, no, Miss. Right? Uh, for example, Delia, we can say Miss Gonzalez, right? Miss Gonzalez. Miss Gonzalez. And for uh, Kenya, Kenya, usted no está casado, ¿verdad? No. No, no, okay. No, no. So we say Miss Fuentes, Miss Fuentes. Entonces, este Miss sirve para las que son casadas y no casadas, right? And then Miss, Mrs., right? Mrs. solo es para casadas, yes? Mrs., Mrs. Y Miss. With S, Miss, solo para soltera, right? Okay? In the case of men, no problem, right? Casado, no casado, divorciado, acompañado. <laughs> We say Mr., right? Mr. Okay? Good. And also we have uh, what we call nick nickname, right? A nickname is nombre de pila. For example, uh, we have for John, Johnny. Johnny. For example, John Deep is Johnny Deep, right? Johnny Deep. Juancito Profundo. <laughs> Johnny Deep. Uh, and then we have uh, David. For David, Dave. Other examples are James, Jim. Peter, Pete. Robert, Bob. Timothy, Tim. Thomas, Tom. William, Bill. Elizabeth, Liz, or Betty. Jennifer is Jenny. Judith, Judy. Catherine is Katy or Kate. Patricia is Patty. Susan is Sue. Right? Here in the class, for example, I have uh, uh, Marisol. I don't know. Could be Ingrid Marisol. Could be Marisol. Mari, probably. Wilfredo, Will. Maria, Mari, for example, right? Francisco, eh, Frank, or Paco, right? Mm -hmm. Enrique could be Kike. Eh, uh, Alex, 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 yes. Mateo, Mateo. Uh, eh, I don't know. Erenia, Erenia, right? <laughs> Ahí no hay para dónde. Brenda, Elizabeth, Elizabeth es... Solo Elizabeth, right? Okay, Ada Concepción, eh, Conchi, Concepción, right? Carlos Armando, Armando es, eh, bueno, en mi familia tengo un primo que se llama Armando, le decimos Mandito. <laughs> okay, very good. So these are nicknames, right? Nicknames. Okay, good. Let's continue. Oh, ya me pasé. Yes. Y nadie me dice nada. Yes. Yo bien entusiasmado aquí. <laughs> okay. Good class. Uh, we are going to continue with this tomorrow, right? So thank you very much. Welcome back to Jessica Araceli, que no sé por qué no se pudo conectar. Creo que le estaba fallando el internet. And welcome to Enrique, right? Bienvenido al grupo, Enrique. Good oh, work, you. profe. Aún okay. en el trabajo, ya Todavía. saliendo prácticamente. Oh, sorry, Carlos. Ya, pero ya salió del bosque. Ya salió del bosque, ¿verdad? Hola. Eh, ya logró salir del bosque. Qué va. Pero ah. sí resolvimos la falla. Ok, good. Excellent. 
Bye bye, Carlos. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Solo me quedo con Evelyn. Have a good night. Thank you. Goodbye. See you bye tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow, Thank teacher. See you tomorrow. God bless you. God bless bye. you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. Bye. See you tomorrow, Delia. Elsa, goodbye. Jessica Carolina, bye bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, Elsa. Okay. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You're fine. And your baby? He's, he's sleeping. Oh, thank God, right? He, so you have time to participate in the class. Yes. Now your microphone is good, Evelyn. I can I can listen perfectly. Nice. Okay. Este, yes. estaba con los auriculares, pero ya se los quita porque están fallando. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. right? Recommendation, Evelyn, go to Las Pulgas. <laughs> you can find a, some cheap <laughs> one, right? Puede encontrar uno baratito. Esto, okay, lo voy a tomar en cuenta. Esto me costaron 17. Yes, it's ah. good, they're good. Me han durado. Look, Profesionales. I, not exactly, but, but they are good. Uh, I will show you. Look, they have lights, you know? Tienen luces, eh? Oh, excellent. In the microphone, you know. Hello, hello. How are you? Eh? Mm. Eh, Seventeen dollars. I consider oh. it okay. In las pulgas. <laughs> no. Economic. Yeah, economic. I, I don't work in las pulgas, Evelyn. But you know, <laughs> you can go. You can go and buy some cheap, some cheap uh, item, right? Mm -hmm. Evelyn, I don't know if you have any question about the class. Eh, eh sí tenía las dudas sobre los. Plurales de las cosas. Plural. Ajá, no. Sí, y la conjugación el, cuando es tercera persona también. Third person singular. Eso. He, she, and it, right? Mm -hmm. Sí, exactamente. Plus, cuando but, una oración lleva plurales mm -hmm. y también la conjugación de las terceras personas. You're, you're right. No. Ajá. No, no, you no, add the no. S, then you add ES, when it ends in SH, S, yeah. uh, etcétera, etcétera, you know. Sí. Ajá. Ok. And did, did you understand the imperatives, Evelyn? Uh, Affirmative, negative, imperatives. No open exactly. the book. Don't open the book. Ajá. Ajá, sí. Más o menos. Creo que voy a repasar la clase porque entré tarde. Ah, Tenía una yes. en un momento yes, y right. lastimosamente no pude estar desde el principio. Ah, ok. But uh, Evelyn, I will send the presentation, the PowerPoint presentation in the group, in the WhatsApp, right? Ok. In, in this video. Remember, it's recording, and uh, after this class, I upload, lo subo, right? I, I will load to the platform, so you okay. can check it tomorrow. You uh, can review it tomorrow. The Friday, because tomorrow I right. I am vacation. No pro. Oh. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, yes. The day of the uh -huh. empleado okay. municipal. Ah, in San Martin you have yeah. yes, uh, nice, very good. No, I didn't know, Evelyn. That tomorrow is the Dia del Empleado Municipal. Oh, excellent. Uh, sí. Yes. Thank uh, you. Do you receive gift or money or something? No. No. Oh, well, celebration. Wish... That's enough yes, that you have vacation, so you can stay with your family, right? Yes. Yes, it's nice. Yes. Do you plan to there. do you plan to go to the beach, to a park, or, or just stay no, home? No, no, no. I want sleep every day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, it's not really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Very good. Yes. But vacation is vacation. So you stay in your house, do nothing, right? <laughs> okay. Don't wash the dishes, don't do the laundry, just Yes. Yes, sleep, exactly. Right? <laughs> I wash the the laundry. Okay, good. Okay, opinion about this level number two, Evelyn, do you think it's more difficult or it's okay for you? Uh, the vocabulary is mm. more um, difficult. More difficult, okay. More, but more, more, este, technical. words. Ah, okay. Sí. More yes, yes. More yes, because today, for example, they hit me a goal, right? Me metieron gol con nota de abono. Y... <laughs> yes, en corte de caja. Okay. Credit sí. note, right? Uh -huh. Etc. So, technical vocabulary, yes, it's, yes. 
even even in Spanish, uh, uh, Evelyn, if you ask me corte de caja in Spanish, I don't understand. <laughs> Oh. No, de abono. I, I don't understand but oh, uh, sí. in Spanish and in English you know <laughs> but yes it's, it's, it's the contact mm -hmm. it's, it's for con it's uh, a contact it's yes a contact mm -hmm. okay so to, to finish uh, Evelyn are you practicing with music and, and, and uh, uh, videos music. in English with music usually usually music okay uh, I'm listening um Canciones de cuando estaba muy adolescente. Ah, oh, ok. Es, 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 me inspira mucho. Ah, oh, ok, nice. Well, I recommend, because you know, I am old school, right? I am old, old school, so I recommend uh, the 80s. I am the 80s, you know? Yo soy de los 80, so I recommend Madonna, Guns N' Roses, uh, Bee Gees. Etc. Yeah. Because for me, for me, of course, yes. uh, I, I understand because it's like uh, Evelyn more romantic. So they speak, oh, right. you know, uh, it's, it's more basic, the, the music, right? Like the movies also, Evelyn, uh, my recommendation is always oh. cartoons, muñequitos, right? Oh, right. Uh -huh, yes. Because it's, it's, it's better to it's understand. Difficult. For me, I'm... Empecé a verlo, pero me desesperé. Oh, no, come on. So I, listen, I, my recommendation is put the subtitles in English. Oh, right. The subtitles, so you will understand. Yeah, yes. once you get accustomed, una vez ya se haya acostumbrado, then uh, only English, right? Yes. But yes. at the beginning, the subtitles, aunque se marea uno leyendo. <laughs> yes. But, but yes, but no Spanish. Never Spanish. Only subtitles in English. My recommendation, Evelyn. I'll try. I'll try. Please, try, try. Vea una película. I recommend... Uh, you know, one of the my favorite is Sing. Sing? Uh, oh, uh -huh. I remember, I, yeah. I like it. There are two movies, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> because they include uh, some music in the in the in the movie. Uh -huh. Yes, true. Yeah. So my recommendation is put the subtitles when you watch movies, right? Oh. Okay, Evelyn, I don't know if you have any extra question. No, teacher. No. It's okay. Okay, it's a pleasure for me to have you in my class. So uh, let's pleasure. see you tomorrow, right? Right. Good night, uh, teacher. Good night. Bye bye.